Hello YouTube, Pallab here and I have the brand new OnePlus 5 and I'm gonna tell you 10 tricks or 10 things that you did not know about this device probably. Now you might know one of these tricks, you might know 9 of these tricks but even if I can tell you one new trick, this video would be successful. If you know all the 10 tricks, hell just enjoy the video okay. So we'll start with one of my favorite features called reading mode. When you go to settings, you go to display that is the reading mode now what it does is that uh, it turns your screen into a grayscale mode now, I've you see I've turned it on uh, permanently so all my screens my app the whole phone basically turns into a grayscale uh, I do not want that I want the colorful phone but then I want specific apps like Amazon Kindle to turn this way when I switched on or when I go to that particular app see now what it exactly did is that it almost turned my phone into a Kindle now I love reading I love my Kindle I love my Kindle better than my tablet mainly because of the screen that black and white this grace e-ink screen is very easy on eye it's it's easier to uh, read at night as well your eyes do not hurt unlike uh, the tablet of course you have the night modes on the tablet but they are nowhere near as effective as a grayscale very easy phone now what uh, it did here is that i open the kindle app and you see it's very easy on i not exactly to that e-ink level but even the fonts and everything here are very smooth so specifically uh, if you like to read something or maybe you uh, you know you're browsing something on chrome at night you can also add chrome to that particular reading mode and this makes the screen grayscale now when you go back it will again go back to your colorful phone now uh, a lot of other phones also give you this option but they are mainly in the power saving or ultra power saving mode thereby reducing some of the performances but this one simply turns the screen into gray one of my favorite features the second tip is into the camera you go to the camera shooting mode and then the settings and then you see shot on the one plus watermark a lot of time we love to give our watermarks here it gives this beautiful shot on one plus that's on other phones as well but what it also let you do is see you it lets you uh, imprint your name as well see pull up so whenever you click any photo out here for example just this one it'll show shot on oneplus with your name also i really love that and that kind of gives an uh imprint it's 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 nice to have your signature on a phone and it's nice to on a photo and it's nice to say that you've shot this on the oneplus a lot of time you get very irritating uh, messages from your uh, uh, isps like airtel or vodafone for example they keep on sending you messages mostly about adverts uh, and then also they'll tell you like you know welcome to Vodafone Rajasthan welcome to this welcome to that how you switch that off is you go to uh, you know this emergency broadcast and then go here and look for channel 50 and channel 60 broadcast and switch them off once you switch them off uh, you if you can see channel 60 is used in India for operator specific information so the moment you switch this off you won't be irritated by those operator messages any longer another important feature while you're using your Bluetooth headsets are if your Bluetooth headset are advanced meaning expensive and then if they support aptX or aptX HD Codec, then you can go here Bluetooth audio codec and by default they're SBC but you can select aptX or aptX HD uh, what aptX and aptX HD codec do is that the Bluetooth streaming streaming is of better quality and most of the time without interruption much better than the SBC so if your headphones supports these aptX HD is brilliant then you should go here and you should switch back to those so that your, your the one for plus five supports there so why not take advantage of that huh? a lot of people ask me whether the one plus five actually supports on the uh, usb on the go feature usb otz it does but you have to enable it in the settings so go to advanced and then otz storage once you switch this on uh, now whenever you insert any supporting pen drive now remember you need a pen drive with a usb c 
out because this guy has a USB-C port and then this one will recognize that. This feature is probably not that hidden but you would not believe how many people actually miss this. Go to button and if you like your on-screen navigation bar otherwise your buttons are here. There. You go to buttons and then on-screen navigation bar. So these buttons uh, take place and then these guys get uh, deactivated however uh, now even this the home button is deactivated yeah uh, by the way the fingerprint will work but the home button otherwise will be deactivated you can always go ahead and enable home button so that home button only is enabled but the others still stay disabled another cool feature is something called as smart lock now uh, you can actually use your face to unlock this device but when you typically go to the settings you'll see this fingerprints and pin and um, other things password and stuff however come here to smart lock and what it does essentially is a lot more than trusted face or does an onboard detection keep your device unlocked while it's with you if you turn or this on, uh, whenever the device is in motion, maybe you're just walking and using the device, it will stay unlocked. Also trusted places, you can add your home, you can add your office or some trusted places where the phone would stay unlocked because yeah, they believe that in your trusted place, no stranger are gonna come and use that phone. Trusted device, you can use trusted device to unlock these phones, much like the iPad and iPhones. Then you can set up the trusted face also. And there you go. Yeah, it's a face edit. So now you can unlock this with uh, your face. The next feature is for people who probably cannot make out too small of a font or maybe, um, I mean, you know, you're just reading a magazine or a comics here and at times you want to just zoom in to read those balloons because they're like too small on this relatively smaller screen than tablet so what you can do there's a magnification feature just type start typing it uh, it says magnification gesture even otherwise you can go here oh, sorry uh, you can go to advanced and then go to accessibility and then magnification uh, gesture on so whenever I switch this on quick three taps will magnify the screen you see now you can quickly read those there you go treat up again and it comes back to your original size now if you just want it to be temporarily magnified for example you're just you know reading something and then there's a small bubble inside which something is written that's like smaller than the rest of one so you just want to quickly zoom it but not like uh, you know permanently so what you can do is on the third tab just hold the screen and you can read that text leave it and it comes back to the original form the next feature is something that has become really really important now in our busy lifestyles and you would wish that it does not but then whenever the time comes probably you'd be happy that you uh, had this information handy so you go to emergency information and then emergency information now let's say in an unforeseen situation you you know you kind of unfortunately made an accident or your um, you know you're in pain where you cannot handle yourself you want someone else to help you now when someone comes or when someone uh, you know brings you to the doctor or to the or to the nearest person who can help you he can quickly need some of the uh, information like your name obviously address your blood type if you need immediate blood supply allergies medications and um, you know some of those other things then this this particular information is very helpful and I strongly suggest you fill this and then keep with it you might never need it and that's a very good thing but wherever needed this might save someone's life the last feature is more of a funny feature it's not even uh, like unique feature to the oneplus the way they have presented it however is a very unique and it's, it's more like I haven't uh, I haven't found uh, the 10th feature kind of a feature and that's why I'm giving you this one but when you go here that incoming call vibration pattern now, I love the way they have actually mimicked the way the phone can vibrate so whenever uh, this is selected you won't be able to feel it probably and if you can hear the faint vibration sound when you go it's actually G da 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 G 
da da ji da ji da the G, so this, this is just a fun feature and I love playing with this one although this uh, this is very common the vibration pattern but the way they have presented it here is a little funny and hilarious so there was guys 10 tips that I think can help you take the best out of your brand new oneplus 5 if you like this video please hit the like button subscribe to our channel and hit that bell icon so that you get notification whenever we publish these tips and tricks and if you have any other questions about the oneplus 5 we are still in the process of reviewing it please ask us and we'll review that particular part and let you know thank you